This is an Olympus IX70 inverted fluorescence microscope. We have this unit configured with a 100 watt HBO mercury system. This is the power supply for the mercury. This is the lamp housing with the mercury bulb inside. We have it with a 100 watt halogen. This is the upper arm, 100 watt halogen system. The transformer is built into the unit, into the frame. This is the condenser. It has a phase contrast system. Particular ones are, this gets bright field, phase low, pH 1 and pH C, pH 2. Those are going to match your objectives. You can look at the ad to see the exact objectives that we're including with this ad. We can configure whatever objectives you may need. I'm showing some petri dishes, different sizes, and 96 well plate. These are not included, they're just examples. We have a UV filter on this one. These are normally missing, but they're a very good idea to have because they, a lot of times you get so much intense light at the top and this, this will protect your, your eyes from that light. This has a binocular head, binocular viewing tube. And we also have two different photo ports. One photo port is on the side and the front photo port is for an SLR camera like a DSR, DSLR such as Canon, EOS, Rebel would be an example. This is the T adapter. You would have to change this T adapter to whatever type of camera you have, whether it's a Nikon, Sony, Canon. This knob controls where the light goes. Controls whether the light goes to the eyepieces, 100% to the eyepieces, or to the front port, or to the side port. The specs tell you specifically what percentages go where. We are showing a camera on this microscope. This may or may not be included. You'll have to look at the ad to see what particular camera is included, if any. We are including the C-mount attachment with the microscope. All that will be detailed in the specs of the ad. The bottom line is that this microscope is capable of taking photographs with the right camera. This has a XY mechanical stage. We also have a zero drift included. Those are nice to keep them from drifting in, in one direction. This is the reflector turret. It has the dichroic filter cubes. This is a knob for turning and changing the, the cubes. Making your selection of which cube that you want. This mercury lamp housing is connected to the power supply by this cable. Here's the connection. We have some filters. Light balancing daylight filter plus a frosted filter included for the halogen. To center the condenser, you use, you use these knobs. To raise and lower the condenser, you use these knobs. You also want to set the color illumination this way. To center the phase annulus inside the condenser, 
with the phase ring inside the objective, the back aperture plane, you would use these two screw openings and you, use, you would use these two screws, these little 1.5 millimeter hex screws. You would insert them in these openings. We are including the Olympus screwdriver. This screwdriver will remove the head, lamp housing at the top, back lamp housing, seam out. If you need any custom configuration on this microscope, please let us know. We can change objectives, filter cubes. If you want a different lamp housing, if you want to use like a metal halide excite system, we can hook that up to the back. This is how you remove the, the turret, the reflector turret. There is a piece that I have to remove first. I won't remove it, it takes a little bit of time. There's a, there's a thumb screw. You unscrew it. This is, uh, this is to block the extraneous light that comes from the mercury. This is a good item to have. You remove that first. Then you insert the screwdriver here and you can take out the reflector turret and you can change out your, your dichroic filters. This is a shutter. You normally want to keep the shutter closed, which would be this position, blocking all light from the back. Be careful about the UV light, it is harmful. If you're taking this out and you've got direct light coming in, that's not good. You need to wear safety glasses. This is variable intensity. If you have any questions about the microscope, about your particular application, please let us know. We'll configure whatever you may need.